the Jimonist. More Jimonist. Greetings, citizen. Welcome to StarMade. Before you lies the frontier, an entire universe to explore, build, and fight in. You will start small, learning how to harvest resources for crafting. You can build ships, space stations, colonies, anything you can imagine. Along the way, you will come across various aliens and factions. Will you trade peacefully with these races? or engage in conflict. The choice is yours. Be warned, the frontier is not always a safe and peaceful place. Perhaps you like to explore, and you'll set out to discover the secrets that lie in wait. Maybe you will build an empire. Your creations will grow in complexity and in size. The fleets you command will become larger and stronger. Share your designs with others, or save them for later use. It's up to you to make your name known throughout the frontier. This is just the first step. You have much to learn, so tutorials have been created to help you. To access these tutorials, press the Tutorial key. You can also access these from the Options menu by pressing the Escape key. With this knowledge, you can achieve all that has been mentioned and more. The frontier is waiting. Welcome to StarMade. The heads-up display provides critical information for navigating space and interacting with objects. The hotbar is located at the bottom of the HUD and allows access to various objects that can be placed or activated. The active slot on the hotbar can be selected with any of the number keys or by scrolling the mouse wheel. Above the hotbar, your health is displayed. When depleted, you will respawn at the last activated undetonator. The radar, which shows nearby entities as well as the currently occupied sector, is located in the top right of the HUD along with several other indicators. The first indicator illuminates when in range of a shop. The second indicator illuminates when there is an unread mail in the mailbox. The third indicator will illuminate when a trade offer has been received. There are many objects in the universe which can be activated. To activate an object, look at the object while near it and press the Activate key. Use the left mouse button to use or build objects selected on your hotbar. Hold the right mouse button to deconstruct objects in front of you. To view additional items which can be placed on your hotbar, press the Inventory Panel key. Click and drag objects from your inventory to your hotbar, or hold the Fast Switch Inventory key and left-click to quickly transfer objects. To access options, tutorials, respawn, or exit, press the Escape key. Use the mouse to look around. Basic movement is achieved with the Forward, Backward, Strafe Left, and Strafe Right keys. For astronauts not in gravity, use the Strafe Up and Strafe Down keys to move up and down. While not in gravity, you can align to a structure by pressing the grapple key. For astronauts that are in gravity, use the jump key for vertical movement. While moving in gravity, you can move slower by using the walk key. Most blocks can be sat on using the sit key. Ship cores are the means by which ships are built and grant access to a ship's flight and build modes. Ship cores on their own can be used as ships for simple and relatively fast travel. Press the Spawn Ship key while a core is in your inventory to create a ship core in front of you. Press the Activate key to enter or exit the ship core. Press the Change Ship Mode key to toggle between the ship's flight and build modes. While in the flight mode of a ship, turn by moving the mouse. Horizontal movement is achieved with the Forward, Backward, Strafe Left, and Strafe Right keys. Vertical movement is achieved with the Strafe Up and Strafe Down keys. The ship can be rolled by using the Rotate Left and Rotate Right keys. Holding the Roll Ship key and moving the mouse left and right will also roll the ship. 
Use the brake key to slow down and stop a ship that is in motion, and cancel a ship's rotational movement with the cancel ship rotation key. Ships can be aligned to Galactic North by pressing the Align Ship Cam key. Build Mode grants additional tools for building creations. In a ship, press the Change Ship Mode key to switch between Build Mode and Flight Mode. On a station, planet, or asteroid, a build block is required to access Build Mode. Use the Activate key on a build block to enter Build Mode on these entities. An additional menu can be accessed for advanced build options. Hold the Advanced Build Mode key to access this menu. Advanced Build Mode enables the ability to change the size of your build area using sliders or the orientation of a block by holding the Advanced Build Mode key and using the scroll wheel. There are many other features of Advanced Build Mode which will be covered separately. The more thrust modules a ship has, the greater its total thrust will be. Thrust modules require power and will cut out if there is a power outage. Press the Activate key on a thrust module to open up the thrust configuration menu. Shields provide the first layer of defense on any object. Shields can be supplied with shield rechargers and are stored with shield capacitors. The recharge rate decreases if the shields are taking damage. Shields can extend to docked entities, but are weakest on these structures. Gravity occurs naturally on planets, but can also be generated for astronauts by using gravity modules. While near a gravity module, look at it and press the Activate key to toggle gravity on or off for yourself. Gravity modules can also be activated with logic systems. Every ship and station can be saved in the catalog. The catalog lists creations you have saved or ones that others have shared. Open the catalog with the Catalog Panel key. From here, the currently occupied ship and all docked entities can be saved to a server or your local files. After a ship has been saved, its blueprint can be bought from the Catalog Panel. Right-clicking the blueprint in the inventory will display its required components before it can be spawned. Once the blueprint is filled, spawn the entity by clicking the Spawn button.